Hey you guys, Xbox Gamer, and this is basically my second part, so after you've basically got the, everything all set up and all ready for everything, um, so the next thing we're going to probably be doing is collectibles. Now I didn't really record any game footage of this, because obviously there's really no need to, because it, it does take quite a while, so we're going to go through things as you will be a new player. The first one will be the Treasure Hunt, which is the uh, Golden Revolver, which you can basically find. So what you're gonna, so what you're gonna basically be doing is you're gonna get an email. It's gonna tell you to go somewhere. You can basically Google it, YouTube it all up. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Um, that once obviously you collect the gun and actually do the fifty headshots, uh, that should net you a total of two hundred and fifty thousand. Then after that, you'll go to the M, which is mod. She will give you um, five bounties. If you kill them, she will only give you five grand for each one. But if you injure them and take them to her, she will give you 10 grand. So depending on what you do, you can go from 300,000 to 275,000. Then after that, then we're going to be working on the proper collectibles, which I've only going to do three here because, you know, there's, I think there's like six altogether. Um, but I'm just going to, you know, obviously the gun, the stone hatchet being two, and then obviously like two other ones. But the ones I do recommend is the cards. Now that isn't going to net you money, but that will net you chips. And obviously you can transfer the chips at the end to... Um, cash of the casino but also by completing it you also get an a outfit as well and that shouldn't it give you a total of six six thousand six hundred and fifty chips um the next one after that is the signal jammer now the signal jammers they will net you a 150k plus a highest helper for the diamond casino that it will give you i think like an extra 10 seconds in the vault which may not sound a lot, but extra 10 seconds can mean, you know, a really good payout, depending on if you've got a good team and how coordinated you are. Then the last one, which is the most difficult one, I have yet to complete it. I'm basically missing two last vans, which I haven't quite done yet. Um, so, yes, that should net you a total of 150,000 plus outfit. So a grand total of 850,000, almost 1 million just for that. Once you've obviously completed that, then obviously then we'll be moving on to the proper stages. The only reason of doing this is to help you give the money that you need and also the experience because obviously the next part, you're going to need those levels to they need to be increased so we can start moving on to, you know, much more nicer things and improve us to you know be able to do f everything we possibly can as i said before this video is basically be on how to collect everything you know basically do being able to do all the updates in the game they've been released considering the last update will probably be this year in december so obviously you know a lot of players obviously this will not help you at all but obviously someone has been sitting there going i've done if i should play gta online and then jumping into it, this is more of a help from starting as a new player, freshly got the game, everything. Also, which will probably help for this, make sure you link your, obviously if you're playing on PC and other versions, just link your account with Rockstar, just so that you know you can get extra goodies as well. And I think also you do get the 250k for the hatchet and for the gun. If you've got that done so yes i am going to leave it off here and in the next video we're going to be having some fun